What's up, family? It's your girl, D. Ray, the Divine Relationship Alchemist, helping you heal your relationship with self to heal your relationship with others. Okay, so um, one, October is almost over, so y'all need to get your $10, 10 minute readings and consultations because when October is over, that is over. All right. The topic for today, how to communicate with your subconscious mind. I just be coming to y'all to talk to y'all about the realizations that I be having. And this week, I really was understanding how the subconscious mind communicates. Uh, first, when we think about good communication, we think about listening and talking, right? Uh, we think about an interaction, an engagement. I listen, then I speak. Okay, I speak, then I listen. Listening is obviously the receptive side. It's you receiving information. The talking is the expressive side. It's you giving out the information. So good communication is a two-way street, right? And if we look around and just observe, a lot of the times people's subconscious mind is just talking, you know? whole life, which we already know your subconscious mind creates our life. So what I'm saying is that a lot of times people are not being deliberate creators. People are not creating their existence on purpose, right? Using the power of their communication to their subconscious mind, right? So what I discovered this week, not discovered because I already knew, but what I got excited about this week was, look at that burp. The subconscious mind communicates with us by our emotions, all right? The subconscious mind communicates through emotions, right? When you feel some type of way about an experience that you are having, the subconscious mind is really communicating to you what your beliefs are in the situation. Let me re-say that. When we have emotions, whether high vibration or low vibration, the subconscious mind is revealing to us what our thoughts, beliefs, patterns, habits are in regards to the situation that we're in. All right? That's how the subconscious mind communicates to us. For example, uh, just recently, right? Um, my kids, they went out of town with my mom. They're going to go visit their great grandmother, my grandmother. They're going, right? They're there. They made it safely, right? But I could not stop thinking about when my parents wanted to leave at night to take them out of town. And at first I was like, okay, but my spirit would not rest. Okay, let me add this in. Subconscious minds equals spirit. Spirit equals subconscious mind. My my subconscious mind would not stop talking to me or bringing up the, the thought of my kids riding at night. And accompanied with that thought was a feeling of uneasiness, right? A lack of peace. I, I, it, I was not in a peaceful state of being with the thought of my kids dry or riding at night with my parents to go out of town. My subconscious mind was communicating with me, right? I got the confirmation of this communication by listening to Mook's video. My homegirl Mook, y'all go follow her on YouTube, so it is written. I got the confirmation of it on one of her videos, right? So one, whenever you feel some type of way about something and it, it's like you just cannot get it out of your mind, out of your system, out of your emotions, then it's something that your spirit, your subconscious mind is really trying to get you to look at, really trying to get you to know, acknowledge, and deal with, right? That's what it is. So my subconscious mind was like, no. No, no, they don't need to write a night. They don't need to write a night. They don't need to write a night. Taunting me like that, right? And I had to consider like, hmm, is this just my ego? And after I really sat down and analyzed the different emotions that I was feeling as I was having the thoughts, I was like, no. Because ego is just kind of running rampant. It just goes so fast that you really don't have enough time to really think about the feelings and emotions unless you are being intentional about affecting the subconscious mind, which is my next point, right? So I had to have a conversation with my mom and say, mom, look, my spirit is just, 
It has not been at ease. It has not been at peace. The emotions that I have feeling have been fearful. And the belief is that I don't feel it is safe to ride at night after getting off of work. That's the belief in my subconscious mind. In my subconscious mind, I have a program that says it's hard to drive an hour, two hour, three hour distance away and you haven't been well rested. That's my belief. And so whenever I was thinking about it and the emotions of fear or unpeace were rising up, that's my subconscious mind telling me, hey, there's something that you think and know about this situation. So I had to address it. I had to go talk to my mom as humbly as I know how and say, mom, my spirit has not been at ease with this. Can y'all please leave in the morning? And the sincerity of my heart whenever I came to her in the knowingness, me knowing that this is my spirit communicating to me and through me, immediately tapped into her heart and she said, fine, okay, we'll leave in the morning. Do you understand? The subconscious mind communicates to us by way of emotions. Our spirit communicates by way of emotions. How do you feel in this experience? How do you feel when these thoughts are running through your mind? Your feelings will let you know where your beliefs are. And what are beliefs? Just thoughts that you think all the time, right? Thoughts that have become set in place in your mind, in your being. Thoughts that you act upon. Thoughts that reflect your life. Beliefs. All right? So that's how the, the subconscious mind speaks and expresses to us, right? We're in a situation. We're in a circumstance. We're having a conversation. We're in the thought. We're in experience. We're in the store. We're driving. Whatever the situation may be. And we are just hit with emotion. These emotions can be positive, they can be negative, they can be low vibration, they can be high vibration. That really does not even matter. Knowing, well, it matters because I'm the feel-good advocate and I want you to always be in a positive, feeling good, high vibrational state of being, right? So it does matter. And so I'll add, so if some feelings and emotions come up that are not in alignment with high vibration, that are not in alignment with what you want to manifest, then that is a sign to you that there is something that you need to address and look deeper in. For me, I'm not saying that I don't have to release the fear because hell, some people like to ride at night and they get to their destination safely. So I may need to release the fear of that. But for me right now with my children, it's not something that I want them to be doing and I'm not there. If I was riding, I would have been at more peace with it because I'm here, I'm present. There's some things that are within my control. But if I'm not there and I don't have any control over the situation, then now is not the time for us to do it. So that's what that is. So the trigger was on a lower vibrational side, but from a higher level of consciousness, my spirit was actually protecting my children. Okay. So on the opposite of that, how do we consciously communicate with our subconscious mind? We do that by generating emotions on purpose. Right. So when you want to affect your subconscious mind, say to manifest a certain reality, then you have to generate the emotions of that thing. That's how you get through the subconscious mind. For example, you've all heard of this before. You know, fake it till you make it. If you want to manifest something, you have to feel good about it right now without it being in the physical. Right. And in all reality, feeling good about it right now does make it real. It's not fake it till you make it at all. Because once you feel good about that thing, your subconscious mind is already going out and doing work on your behalf to bring that thing into your existence. All right. So we express and we give and we put in and we implant to our subconscious mind when we generate these emotions. All right. When we say, you know what? I'm feeling good today. I want to be intentional about feeling good. I'm going to feel good about everything that I got going on regardless. And I and I put myself in a feeling good space on purpose. Now my subconscious mind is like, well, I'm going to give you more situations to feel good about. And even when things appear that don't feel so good, you're still going to feel good. 
all right? So we communicate with our subconscious mind by way of emotion. Our We are in a receptive state of being. We are in a receptive state of being when we are triggered, when we have certain emotions that we did not intentionally create. That's the receptive side. That's our subconscious mind putting out and giving to us. Here's the situation. You feel some type of way about it address the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind just told you what your beliefs are on that experience or on that topic. Now, when we want to imprint our subconscious mind with, with a new reality that we want to create, then we generate the emotion. Then we say, okay, I want to feel joy. What does joy feel like? Let me muster up joy. Let me create joy within me. All right. Communicating with the subconscious mind is a two way street. It is listening and receiving, being in the receptive mode. And then there's also like talking, generating emotions, expressing. That's why affirmations are so powerful. It's you speaking to your subconscious mind. And when you speak those words, you generate the emotion of what it feels like to actually embody the energy of those words. And then that emotion I'm doing like this. Mm hmm. That it comes out of the mouth, those emotions go to the subconscious mind and boom, voila, you've made it manifest. All right? Go to my website, relationshipalchemy.org. When you get on there, type your email address in, subscribe so that you can get all the updates on the new products that I have coming, on the different specials that I'll be running for the healing consultations. Mess with your girl. I have a message and a purpose, and I want to help you to discover yours. I want to help you to discover what emotions um, that you have repressed that need to be addressed so that you can actually feel good all the time or most of the time. Um, I just want to be, I just want to help. I want to continue manifesting my purpose, and I'm doing that. Go to my website, relationshipalchemy.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff like that. How does your subconscious mind communicate with you? Okay, let me know in the comments. Peace.